Hi, this is Alex Behrens with Maple Leaf Coffee Roasters in Roselle. I'm here today to talk about a brand new light roast coffee that we have for the holiday season in this year, the Ethiopia Alaka. Check it out. This is a super exciting coffee for us because we've always had questions from a few folks about when we're gonna get the next natural processed Ethiopian coffee back in stock. And for a variety of reasons, it just hasn't happened for the last year or two. Some of it has to do with what's available, some of it has to do with the pricing, some of it has to do with the flavor. But whenever I get a chance to get a truly stellar, interesting coffee in stock, and especially right against the holidays, this is something that I'm genuinely excited about. Because these are one of the types of coffees that can show people, coffee has a different flavor to it sometimes, and it can show you a really great example of what a truly stellar, different tasting, exotic coffee can be, and a really approachable taste. African coffees a lot of times will have a little bit of a fruitier tint to them, something that surprises you a little bit in terms of the way that it tastes and the kind of feel that it has when you're drinking it. And a lot of Ethiopian coffees, especially this one, which is from the Guji province, uh, can show you what a coffee can truly taste like when it goes off the rails into a fruity feel. And this one is one that when I got the sample of it back in the summer to try it out, struck me as something that tasted very much like eating a blueberry muffin. And I kid you not, that's exactly what you're going to feel when you take a sip of this coffee or when you grind it from the grinder and you put it into the machine or whatever you're doing with it in, uh, ahead of when you, you give it a shot. So a lot of times these African coffees, they live on that part of the spectrum of that, those fruity flavors. And this is one that is a great example of that kind of fruitiness that you can find in an African coffee. So it's a natural processed coffee, as I said, and it's also a grade one coffee, which means that it's a high quality, nearly defect free coffee. Uh, so despite the kind of small size of the beans uh, and the sort of difficult roasting process that this one uh, is forcing me to go through, uh, this is going to be a really pleasant looking coffee and it's going to taste um, a nice, nice amount of consistent and inconsistent at the same time. Natural processed coffees will generally taste a little bit uh, different from sip to sip. That's just part of the nature of a natural processed coffee. Uh, this is one that you will just get a high quality sip out of uh, every, every sip that you take. Um, I generally like these coffees a lot of times because of that fruitiness, as I said. Um, you get a little bit of a tart feel to it as well. It's a raspberry, blueberry sort of tint. Uh, if you go looking for it a little bit too, some people's uh, taste will see more of a tropical fruit kind of flavor as well. Uh, you will be really surprised by this coffee having the kind of strong fruit forward vibe that it does. Uh, and I'm really excited for people to give this a shot this holiday season. So uh, don't be too scared either. It does have a little bit of a bite to it, a little bit of a tart feel, but it's not going to be something that like a Yurgachev or another super sharp or uh, tart coffee from Africa will sometimes do. Uh, it'll have a little bit of a bite. So if you're a person with a super sensitive stomach, you probably want to avoid this coffee. Uh, but if you're somebody that wants to try something a little bit different, um, and you're not just the kind of conventional, I like an African coffee, an African natural coffee. Uh, this is going to be a great thing to take home for the holidays uh, to show off to some friends and family and to introduce them maybe to the world of what a uh, funky kind of fruity coffee could be. So I'm really excited for people to give us a shot this holiday season. We will have this coffee through at least the new year. I got a, a three bags of this where I normally get two. And uh, it should be something that would be a really great uh, gift to some folks if you have some uh, coffee drinkers, some snobs in your life that are looking for a great holiday coffee or a, a good gift uh, ahead of uh, the holidays. This would be a great way to, to sort of surprise them and bring them something really great tasting and interesting and exotic. So I hope you get a chance to check this out and uh, we will see you hopefully in store or online very soon. And if you have any questions about this coffee, always feel free to send us an email and we're happy to answer anything you got. Catch you soon.